His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today exchanged cables of congratulations with Arab and Islamic leaders, marking the Prophet Muhammad's birthday, peace be upon him. His Majesty King Hamad expressed his warmest congratulations to them, wishing them continuous good health and happiness and their peoples for their progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Al Sakhir Palace today the credentials of the newly appointed ambassadors of Sri Lanka, Egypt, Australia, and Colombia. The ambassador of Sri Lanka, Dr. Asa Jayu Mendes, arrived at Al Sakhir Palace where he was met by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of Sri Lanka to Bahrain and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. Ambassador of Egypt, Suha Ibrahim Al Far, arrived at Al Sakhir Palace where she was met by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The newly appointed ambassador then presented her credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of Egypt to Bahrain and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. The ambassador of Australia, Dr. Ralph Peter Herbert King, arrived at Sakhir Palace where he was met by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of Australia to Bahrain and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador.
And the ambassador of Colombia, Feyhan El Fayez Shelhoub, arrived at Sakhir Palace where he was met by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of Colombia to Bahrain and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. During the audiences, His Majesty the King praised the close relations linking Bahrain and their countries and the progress of these relations in many areas. For their part, the ambassadors conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings of their leaders and their wishes to His Majesty the King for good health and happiness and to Bahrain for the progress and prosperity. Present were the Minister of the Royal Court, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Head of Royal Protocol.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace a batch of newly appointed High Civil Court of Appeal judges who took their oath. His Majesty the King congratulated the judges, wishing them success to assume their duties and ensure justice and equality between citizens. His Majesty the King affirmed his keenness on the independence of the judicial authority in order to enhance the security and stability of the society. His Majesty the King stressed the importance of stepping up cooperation and coordination between the three branches of government to achieve desired goals in state of law, order and constitutional institutions and protect human rights and maintain security and stability and prayed Allah the Almighty to achieve the best for the kingdom and its citizens. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa exchanged cables of congratulations with Arab and Islamic leaders marking Prophet Muhammad's birthday peace be upon him. His Royal Highness expressed his warmest congratulations to them, wishing them continuous good health and happiness and their people's further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Qadabiya Palace today, son of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, on the occasion of his graduation from the Britannia Royal Naval School with Merit and with College Commander's Award. The Prime Minister congratulated His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman on his scientific accomplishment and military discipline and wished him further success. His Royal Highness expressed pride that the achievement reflects Bahraini's youth's persistence which made them a model in all fields. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman expressed appreciation and pride of the Prime Minister's congratulations, highlighting his constant support and keenness to create the best environment that motivates youth's creativity and development. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qadabiya Palace Minister of Foreign Affairs of Bangladesh Abdul Hassan Mahmoud Ali. Bangladesh Foreign Minister conveyed the greetings of Bangladesh's Prime Minister Sheikha Hasina Wajid and her admiration of Bahrain's development and progress thanks to the government's policies led by His Royal Highness. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister lauded the bilateral relations and stressed the importance of joint cooperation to overcome international security and economic challenges. He affirmed that this cooperation will help in establishing economic cooperation that support the Asian Pacific development till March. His Royal Highness stressed keenness to further strengthen bilateral relations and improve in various sectors, lauding the role of Bangladesh's community in various development projects in the kingdom. He also highlighted the importance of agreements and MOUs signed between the two countries, which contributes to enhancing economic and commercial cooperation. Bangladesh's foreign minister affirmed his country's keenness to further enhanced cooperation with the Kingdom of Bahrain, lauding His Royal Highness's keenness in bolstering bilateral relations.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged cables of congratulations with Arab and Islamic leaders marking Prophet Muhammad's birthday peace be upon him. His Royal Highness expressed his warmest congratulations to them, wishing them continuous good health and happiness and to the Arab and Islamic nations for their progress and prosperity. Deputized by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the graduation ceremony of the 11th batch of candidate officers, Al Qadisiyah Battalion, and the 21st batch of university candidate officers at the Isa Royal Military College. Accompanied by his sons, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince was received upon arrival by PDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Commander of the National Guard Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, Minister of Defense Affairs Lieutenant General Yusuf Al Jalahma, PDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Naimi, Commander of Royal Guard Brigadier General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Commander of the Royal Guard Special Forces Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Commander of Isa Royal Military College and a number of senior PDF officers. The ceremony began with the national anthem. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince then inspected the graduates.
After reciting verses from the Holy Quran, the Isa Royal Military College Parade started. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince confirmed that Bahrain, led by His Majesty the King, is capable with the loyalty and support of the people of preserving its sovereignty and national security, as well as regional security and stability, in line with the shared responsibility of protecting Gulf, Arab and Islamic community and integration. His Royal Highness commended the advanced level and readiness of the BDF, highlighting the contributions of Isa Royal Military College to the development of national military sciences. He pointed out to his Majesty the King's support and follow-up to continue modernization and progress of the military field and scientific development. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince congratulated the college for its continuous march to provide a high level of academic and training curricula and on its graduation of two regiments of the 11th Candidate Officers Batch, Al Qadisiya Battalion and the 21st Batch of University Candidate Officers. He also congratulated the graduates, wishing them success in serving their homeland and encourage them to exert more efforts to bear the responsibility of defending the homeland and its achievements. He also praised the efforts of the college's graduation from the brotherly countries who took part in the course, thanking them for their dedication and commitment. The Crown Prince also expressed thanks and appreciation to the commander and staff of the Asia Royal Military College and wished them further success in achieving the best interest of the kingdom. After the parade, the commander of the Isa Royal Military College, Brigadier General Isa Al Alawi, delivered a speech in which he expressed a pride in graduating efficient and dedicated officers who are loyal to their leadership and homeland and are capable of protecting the kingdom and its accomplishments. After that, a poem was recited on the occasion. دون الوطن والشعب ما يرخر المال دون الوطن والشعب ما يرخر المال هم أكبر همومهم صبحه ليلة دار حباه الله بالشوخ والطار أخوان نجلة متعبين رصيلة من شور أبو سلمان في روس الأكذال من شور أبو سلمان في روس الأكذال المملكة في حماه والله وكيلة فتان نقاض للأشكال حلال أصوت ومن عاداه يا عزتيلة مع ولي العهد سلمان الأمان مع ولي العهد سلمان الأمان محنك انفارق على كل جيلة أصبوا أصبوا القايدنا من البن فنجال يشوف جيش ما يدور بديلة عامين تدريبات يا طيب الفال مع الرجال اللي تحوش الفضيلة نجحت نجحت تعبنا بالنوايب ولا مال كتفني شيل من الحمول الثقيلة نجحت تعبنا بالنوايب ولا مال كتفني شيل من الحمول الثقيلة لا جاء نهار فيه للموت موال والباغي الطاغي يشب الفتيلة ناتيك مثل السيل لا حد روسال واللي يوقف في طريقة يشيل ناتيك مثل السيل لا حد روسال واللي يوقف في طريقة يشيل يا سيدي يا سيدي نرهن لك المال والحال والنجمة اللي ما تسرك في شيلة قبل ختم مني تحيات وجلال شاعر كويتي والخليج انتميلة انصاح انصاح صياح الضحى والخطر جار روحي في دل بحرين وانا احتميلة Candidate Officer Abdul Rahman Khalifa delivered a speech on behalf of the graduates in which he pledged the commitment of graduates in performing their national duty and to exert all efforts in serving the homeland and defending its gains and pillars. After that, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince honored the excellent graduates.
اقسم بالله العظيم اقسم بالله العظيم باعتباري عسكريا في قوة الدفاع أن أكون وفيا لمملكة البحرين أمينا على حقوقها مخلصا لمليكها القائد الأعلى الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة مطيعا لجميع الأوامر الحقة التي تصدر إلي من رؤسائي Then the flag of the Isa Military Royal College was handed from the graduated Al Qadisiyah Battalion to the new Ahmed Al Fatih Battalion. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince then greeted several BDF senior officers and staff of Isa Royal Military College.
BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa then distributed certificates of military sciences diploma on the graduates of the 11th batch of candidate officers at the Al Qadisiya Battalion. BDF Commander-in-Chief distributed the certificates and expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his constant care and support to BDF affiliates. He said the graduation of the 11th batch reflects His Majesty the King's care to build on the development of Bahrain's armed forces based on the requirements of the present and future's challenges with a vision that aims at finding a military power capable of protecting the kingdom and preserving its security and stability. He confirmed that what the BDF has achieved in the fields of training, armament and organization is thanks to the directives of His Majesty the King, the facilitation and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier. Minister of Defense Affairs Lieutenant General Yusuf Al Jalal Ahmed then distributed the graduation certificates of the 21st batch of university candidate officers. Minister Al Jalal Ahmed expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for patronizing the ceremony and for his great support and constant follow-up provided to Bahraini Defense Force, which contributed in its military and administrative developments. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Princess Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met today Minister of Foreign Affairs of Bangladesh, Abdul Hassan Mahmoud Ali. His Royal Highness stressed keenness to further strengthen bilateral relations and joint cooperation between the two countries. He lauded the cooperation with South Asian countries, which, for, which form strategic value at different levels. His Royal Highness lauded the meeting that Deputy Premier Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa attended in Gadabiya Palace, stressed the importance of formulating military alliance led by Saudi Arabia to maintain security and stability and combat terrorism. Bangladesh Foreign Minister affirmed his country's keenness to further enhance cooperation with the Kingdom of Bahrain and bolstering bilateral relations in various fields.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa today deputized Deputy Premier Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa in opening the Postal Department History and Documentation Museum in the Post Office Building in Bab al Bahrain. The Deputy Prime Minister toured the sections of the museum and was briefed by the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities President Sheikh May bin Mohammed Al Khalifa about the items on display that document the history and development of the Kingdom of Bahrain's postal services including priceless archives. The Global Stamps Display Hall includes more than 4,000 of the rarest stamps from Gulf Corporation Council and Arab countries and from around the globe. The display comprises five vaults showing stamps from the GCC and Arab countries as well as international stamps alphabetically arranged. Sheikh May expressed her gratitude and appreciation of His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister's patronage of Postal Department History and Documentation, lauding His Royal Highness's supportive stance to cultural activities in Bahrain and fostering cultural infrastructure projects and constant keenness on boosting the kingdom's image via its original culture and ancient architectural heritage. She also thanked Deputy Premier Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa for opening the postal department buildings deputized by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King's personal representative for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, an honouring ceremony of the second edition of the National Contest to Promote Children's Rights Law in Schools was held today by the Bahrain Institute for Political Development in cooperation with the Ministry of Education and the attendance of a number of ministers and state officials. His Highness Sheikh Nasser hailed the remarkable role of Bahrain Institute for political development in supporting democracy in the kingdom and introducing members of the society with their rights and duties which are preserved by the constitution. His Highness hailed the national contents consent for its contribution in forming new generations that aim to protect child law and spread its values in the society. His Highness affirmed his support to the contest which aims to spread awareness regarding the importance of the child law in order to protect Bahraini children rights. His Highness also honored students participating in the contest. The executive director of the Bahrain Institute for Political Development, Yasser Al Alawi, delivered a speech in which he expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad for patronizing the contest. He also expressed appreciation to the Ministry of Education for its support to the contest, hailing the ministry's efforts for encouraging students to participate in such events. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, held a telephone conversation with his Iraqi counterpart, Dr. Ibrahim Al Jafari. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed voiced the Kingdom of Bahrain's deep concern over the case of the brotherly citizens of the state of Qatar who were kidnapped in southern Iraq, though they have entered the country in a legal way and without committing any violations. The minister pointed out that the Iraqi government ought to assume its responsibility and take the necessary crucial procedures for the safe release of the abductees and their return unharmed to the brotherly state of Qatar. The two ministers also reviewed a number of issues of common concern. In the same context, the minister held a telephone conversation with his Qatari counterpart Khalid bin Mohammed al atiyah during which he reiterated the full solidarity of Bahrain with Qatar in whatever procedures it would take to free its citizens who have been kidnapped in the south of the Republic of Iraq in flagrant violation of all moral and humanitarian values. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed said that the kingdom was monitoring closely and with deep concern the developments of this case, which represents a dangerous and unacceptable first that may negatively impact bilateral relations between the two brotherly countries unless the brothers join their efforts to ensure the immediate and safe release of the abductees.